after the resurrection, there was new freedoms, new joy, because he paid the price. He paid the price. It was a gift. And that's what Jesus said. Look, I, have, I died for you. I gave my life for you so that you could have victory. I pray that this message has revived your victory. All you do is reach out and then listen to what he has to say. Do what he says. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Harriet Bradley. Let me all, and my mic is working just fine because I see it. I tried to test everything. Uh, please forgive me for being about six minutes late. I've got to give myself six minutes more time so I can be right at nine o'clock. But this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I didn't realize this is the first Sunday of April. Uh, Cause last week was the it was a it was a fifth Sunday, so it was like it was in March, and that was Resurrection Sunday. I pray that everyone had a great Resurrection uh, weekend. I know that uh, I did. I had it was just a wonderful time. It was a wonderful time uh, uh, at uh, at the Love Story Church. That's what we're called now, and it was great to be at the first service. It's so funny because. <laughs> um, you know, they said, who wants to be a member of Love Story Church? We, we all raised, we raised our hands and all came in to be members of Love Story Church. So I praise God. I give a, a um, greetings and honor to pastors uh, John and Abitur Gray. Uh, if you look on, our, on my Facebook and Instagram, uh, the Atlanta Blend, that's a circle group that I head up. We had a great time of fellowship at Cheesecake Factory. Um and then we went to church. So that was the first time some of us had seen each other in person. And we just had an awesome time. And we had uh, Minister Angie uh, Jones. She uh, made some shirts uh, for Atlanta Blend and presented them to us as well as to Pastor. So that is just, it's just really just a great blessing. And I praise God for who, who's come on on Instagram. I praise God for who's come on on Facebook Live. So, um. We're going to pray. We're going to get started. I'm excited about the word that the Lord has given me to share with you today. You know, the word of God is always good. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and praise you. I worship and honor you and adore you. I just love you. Lord, I thank you for what you have done for us, that you have given us the total victory in every area of our life. Father God, when you gave your life, you gave it unselfishly for us you chose to and so we thank you for that lord i thank you for the people that have chosen to watch uh this uh either the facebook or instagram live whether you watch it uh, and that either you watch it it the the live or the replay or either on the youtube uh once it's posted on youtube so lord i thank you and i praise you for that i just love you and adore you for it and Father God, I thank you that even now that uh, they will have ears to hear what the Spirit of God has to say today. I ask you that you will think through my mind, speak through my lips, that I only speak the oracles of God and will give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. <clears throat> praise the Lord. I thank God the pollen basically has gone for a while. And, uh, I'm definitely feeling a lot better. I didn't feel bad. It's just, you know, you had to sneeze, cough. And I just stood against it, and God's good. Took some natural vitamins, uh, antibiotics, and things. So God is good. Now, last week, of course, like I said, was Resurrection Weekend, and we honored Mary Magdalene. And uh, she was the, the first person to see Jesus Christ after he resurrected. 
he used her to share share the first gospel message. Now, as I know, there was three key things that uh, uh, that we can learn from Mary, Mary Magdalene. And that was, number one, be thankful and grateful for the deliverance the Lord has given you. She was, she was, she had been delivered from so many demons. She had been given a new life, a new way, and she was grateful. And she served the Lord even unto his death. And because of that, she was able to be there to see him risen. Okay, and then uh, remain faithful even in the midst of death. Be willing to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with others. Okay, so now Jesus Christ has is arisen. And so after the resurrection, now what goes on? What what happens? Well, I, I as I was beginning to study this, I ran across a great teaching. And so when I see great teaching, I will glean from it. Now, first of all, the first thing that happened after the resurrection is that Jesus solidified that he had truly risen by making appearances. And each one of these appearances that he made signified a victory in an area. And this is what we're gonna talk about today. Uh, we already mentioned that uh, about Mary Magdalene, that uh, she was there, she was crying, saying, and, and she, she thought that Jesus was a gardener. And then when she looked and she looked and she saw, recognized Jesus, and so what Jesus did for her, which which he which represents what he done has done for all of us, she brought her he Jesus brought her comfort and hope, victory over despair. So that's the first thing, victory over despair. Then he appeared to other women. Um. Here is that scripture in Matthew 28, 9 through 10. This is in the King James about these women. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, that's they, the women, Jesus met them saying, all hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Mm. Then said Jesus unto them, be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they that they go into Galilee and there they shall see me. So victory over death showed that there was victory, that Jesus had conquered death. Now, that's number one, victory over despair, victory over death. Number three, Jesus met up with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Remember, uh, they were talking and they were telling of the events of the day of what had happened with Jesus and, and they didn't understand what was going on. And then all of a sudden, they realized it was Jesus. And because he was there to tell them what had happened, there was victory over confusion. So we have victory over despair victory over death, and victory over confusion. And that can be found in Luke 24, 13 through 32. All right. Now, now, Jesus appeared to the disciples several times. And this time, he appeared to the 10 disciples. Okay, so the 10 disciples, so you know that Judas had died, and Peter was still kind of off the way. And uh, they were hiding because they were afraid of what would happen to them that, that Jesus had gotten killed. So their followers, so he thought, are they going to kill us? So they went in hiding. So that's the reason why they were hiding. Um, so when Jesus appeared to them, Jesus appeared to them, with, and when, they, when he appeared to them, it brought them out of hiding. 
Victory over fear. Now, now, every one of these victories, God has given us in our lives. Victory over despair. Victory over death. Victory, okay. Victory over confusion. That was the one with the, 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 the two disciples going on the road to, the, to Emmaus. And then victory over fear. Hmm. So it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. First Timothy, in First Timothy 1, 7. But a power, love, and a sound mind. Now, then Jesus, uh, once again, Jesus appeared again. And this time, Thomas was there. So you remember that, that uh, the disciples, the disciples uh, told Thomas, look, the Lord's come. And we've seen him. He sees it. I'm not going to believe this until I see Jesus. And, you know, we've kind of given Thomas a hard time because he, you know, the doubtful Thomas. Well, sometimes we we say, okay, Lord, we, we need some proof here. We need to know. And then what? Jesus will show up. So Jesus appeared to Thomas. And he touched and Oh, and he knew. He knew that he was alive. He knew that he had risen. So Jesus shows that there's victory over doubt. Um, there's a song that Babby Mason sings. I know I have the track up, but I'm not going to sing it. But it says, uh, there's a line that says, Forgive me, Lord, for doubting you when your way I could not see. Now I rest assured that you know what is best for me. Yes, he does. And that when we get to the point to where we, 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 we're not sure, we're having some doubt, he will come and assure us that everything is all right. Everything, you're on, right, you're on the right track. You're doing what I said for you to do. You're believing right. God is good. So victory over doubt. Now, then Jesus, once again, he appears to the seven disciples, which included, which included um, Peter. So this represents at this time that the Lord put Peter back into the ministry. That, you know, that was the first time he'd ever face to face, really saw the Lord after his, after he denied. But Peter didn't give up. You see, he was still hanging around. He was still with Jesus. So I'm telling you, you, you may have missed the mark in the area, but, but, but keep, keep being in Jesus' face. Keep being with him. Because he's going to make, he, he, this is the thing, keep being with the Lord. Because he's going to show you and he's going to direct you. So he said, victory over failure. You know, we've all missed the Lord in some area, but guess what? He, he, he restored us and he put us back on track. Put us back on track. Now, I, I have to interject here. My pastor, uh, Pastor John Gray, he's been very open and honest with some things that he struggled with. And we've prayed with him, prayed for him, and, and seen him have victory. But we also saw that he was, uh, was willing to have help, willing to get help. And we, as a congregation, we, as, as, as part of his his church body lifted him up, prayed for him. And, and so you know what? He's walking in victory now. He's walking, and, 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 and I just love that he's a he's very humble man. You know, he's got a great sense of humor, and he loves God, and he loves his people. He, real, he does. So he has victory over failure. Praise God. Praise the Lord. So we do too. Now, the number seven. 
Now in Matthew 26, 16 to, to, to 16 through 20, it's basically called the Great Commission because he uh the Great Commission assignment. Jesus appeared before the disciples and told him that all power has been and authority had been given to him. Because see, not only see what happened when Jesus died, he went down to hell. Mm -hmm. And spent three days and three nights in the pit of hell. And then he got the keys that the devil had stolen. Of the, he got the dominion back. He got the keys back. And then once he got them back, he delegated and gave us authority. So he's given them all power and authority to do the great commission to make disciples. Then that victory is victory over any other power. We have, we can, we have the power to bind. We have the power to loose. Any different spirits that we may see activating in someone's life, we can take authority over them. Now it's their will to, 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 to be free, but we can take authority over them. Because it's like Jesus cursed the tree at the root. We have to get to the root of the problem and begin to pray. So victory over any other power. The last thing, and this will be, we'll be talking about in more extension when the day of Pentecost, because this was the day of Pentecost. He, he appeared to over 500 of his followers. This is in Acts 1.8. He confirmed the completeness of his mission and the promise of the Holy Spirit. So his victory over all things. So that, that group of people saw Jesus appear to them and then go up in the clouds. And he said, that's the way I will return. So we're waiting on his return. So God has paid the price for us to be free of every bondage. After the resurrection, there was new freedoms, new joy, because he paid the price. He paid the price. It was a gift. You know, um, you know, it's amazing that uh we may, I'll go someplace or, or 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 I'll you know I'll go and buy something for someone and then I present it to them and it's a gift because I paid the price. They can use that, whatever it is. Maybe I bought them groceries or I bought them an outfit or I bought them a book, but it's a gift. And that's what Jesus said. Look. I have, I died for you. I gave my life for you so that you could have victory. You walk in the victory that God has so ordained after the resurrection. It was a new way of living. This is a new day, a new way of living. Hallelujah. Victory. Let's go back and just review. Okay. Glory to God. Victory, victory over despair. Victory over death. Victory over confusion. Victory over fear. Victory over doubt. Victory over failure. Victory over any other power. Hallelujah. And victory over all things. Glory to God. We as Christians have to walk in that authority that we've been given. Sometimes we think we need to have a back seat and that, you know, we, we, we sometimes are, get afraid that we're going to offend. No, God is going to give you the wisdom and the word of God will offend. But, but it's the love of God. You know, as I, talk, I, I preached about that the love of God is patient and kind. And when we walk in that unconditional love of the Lord, and when we believe like we have in, in Psalms uh, uh, 515, the, that favor surrounds us like a shield. And that God, as we celebrate after the resurrection, we have victory. We've got it. He paid the price for it. Oh, glory to God. Shout the victory. How, you know, it, it's just like, when I watch a, a, a football game, I've been watching the basketballs, 
And uh, I have, you know what? I've never seen a game was it that where the, the winning team didn't shout, didn't uh, ha had some accolades or whatever that they shouted, they were interviewed and they were sharing their victory. You know what? We can shout, we can praise the Lord because he has given us the victory. Glory to God. Oh, I thank God for the victory. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, for the victory. We've already won. Victory in Jesus. Glory. Mm. I pray that this message has revived your victory, has let you know that God paid the price for you to be delivered from fear, from despair, from hopelessness. All you do is reach out and then listen to what he has to say. Do what he says. I tell you what, there's nothing like serving the Lord. There's nothing like following him. Mm, glory to God. Remember, he has given us total victory in every area of our lives. And he wants us to share that good news. Share it with people. I, I, I will close with this. I've been getting, um, I've been doing physical therapy for my thigh. It's, it's definitely getting a lot better and it's just wonderful. And so I've been walking better. You know, it's just the stiffness is going away. And so I walked in one time and walk, I walked in, you know, they know, they know who I belong to. And she was saying, the one lady said something. And I said, I just give all, I give all praise and glory to the Lord because God is good. I definitely, that's exactly what I said. I'm not ashamed of him because he is good. He wants you to give him credit. Mm -hmm. You know, movies always have the credits run. Who's produced? Who's done that? Jesus just wants you to give him all the praise and glory for what he's done for you. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. The time has gone so fast. Glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the price you paid for us to have victory. And Lord, even that, you're even going to help us to walk even more in the victory that you have paid for us. And these, these are some of the things that have taken place after the resurrection. So we love you. We thank you, Lord. We're going to walk in your victory. We're going to carry the banner to let the people know that we belong to you. Lord, I just thank you for the people that have, have listened and watched. Lord, give them boldness to be able to share. Let, give them wisdom in how to share the gospel. And I thank you, Father. They're going to see results in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh, glory to God. Now, just as he, the Lord, uh, wanted us to share the gospel, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to receive this victory that you can only have by accepting the gift of Jesus Christ. It's just simply accepting the gift. So you say this prayer after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to come in and save me. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the victory. And now I commit to live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you said that prayer for the first time or you committed, I have an ebook, and I'll be glad to send it to you. Uh, you can email it to you or send it in a DM, and it'll give you some uh, suggestions on what to do. One of the first things I thank God, you know, you can continue to watch this broadcast every Sunday. Uh, I have it every Sunday and then I have the YouTube channel, but also you need to be with a body of believers. And I, I, I would give, I like to have you an opportunity that if you'd like to be a part of 
the Atlanta Blend uh, Circle Group. Uh, we we love to have you. Please let me know. Just give me your you know name, email, and we'll get you connected. And we, now we have a great time of fellowship, and we have fun. And it's also just an idea, I way to have um, fellowship, and it's a safe zone because there's times that some people sometimes share personal things, but it doesn't go go out of our circle. So until and also I want to thank you for uh, giving. Uh, I do have Cash App, PayPal. You can also write, you know, if you want to write a check. Uh, and uh, I, will, I will receive your, your gifts. And I know that God will multiply it back to you in the way that you need. So with that, I'm closing out. And until next week, with another powerful word, we'll see you. God bless you. Enjoy your Sunday. Hello, and thank you so much for watching this video. I trust and I pray that it has been a blessing to your life and that you'll be able to take some of the things that were imparted upon you and apply it to your life for a better quality of living. So if it was a blessing to you, uh, we would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you wish to see when this content comes out. And if you wanna be notified when it comes out, then you can hit the little bell notification and you'll be the first to know. So with that, I trust that you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.